Hello everyone, welcome to the nexthelp.com. Today we are going to see how to use SNMP V3 Credential Manager for authentication on your op manager. As we have already seen, op manager is a network monitoring software that automatically discover your network, group your devices, services, process status and so on. In our last session, we have seen how to install and manage op manager on CentOS 7. In this session, we will see how to add credentials with the help of SNMP V3, which is a secured one compared to SNMP version 1 and version 2. In order to start with the procedure, switch to your terminal. My op manager service is in running state. So this is my dashboard. In our previous session, we have seen the installation. So by default, my local host gets added into my devices. I have added my vendor as in it SNMP in my previous video, but I haven't added any credential for automatically monitoring my RAM CPU utilization without providing the details manually. So for that, go to your edit credentials and provide your IP address. Since it is my local host, I'm going to leave it as a loopback address. I'm going to provide my display name. This type is Linux. My vendor is NetSNMP. You can choose whatever options you want, but I'm going to go with NetSNMP and this category is server. But the RAM memory or a hard disk storage is not is still in not applicable state because we haven't added any credential. For that, you can add globally by going inside the settings. Go inside discovery. If you want to add any new credential, click add credential and select the type of credential and we need to provide this protocol type encryption protocol password and so on before that we'll configure snmp in in your client machine for today's scenario my client machine is my local host itself so i'm going to configure snmp settings in my local host and then fill up the details here so go to your terminal again first install snmp and its required packages After installing your SNMP and, and its required packages, move the default SNMP configuration as old file and check whether the service status. There are three types to create your SNMP v3 user either by command mode, interactive mode, or your manual mode. Now create your SNMP version 3 in command mode. I have created SNMP v3 user with authentication password net at 123 and AES encryption password as alerts at 123. This has been created successfully. Now move to your op manager again. Go to your credential section again. Click add credential, select the type of it, provide any name, if you want to provide any username or your mail id you can provide here, Since I have created my authentication protocol and its password for SNMPv3 user in SHA format, so select the protocol and provide the password. Retype your password. Next, select your encryption algorithm, which is AES, and provide the password. Alert. This is what your SNMP port number and your timeout seconds. And if you want to provide any retries for your SNMP, you can provide here and save your credential. Your credential gets saved. If you want to associate with that any of the devices we have added, 
you can associate them by clicking this option move to your command line and start your SNMP service enable it and check the status of it finally check the status of SNMP now it is active and running so go to your op manager now associate with the device you have added since I have added only localhost select SNMP v3 and associate with it now go to your inventory open your device click here to change your password select the type of SNMP apply global parameters now test your credential after adding your credential click this monitor here you can see script monitor performance monitor which comprises of your CPU visualization disk utilization memory and process count followed by the URLs here you can add your service monitors like HTTP MariaDB running in particular or customized port numbers find your process monitors that is your daemon services based on its PID it will monitor if you want to add any of the process running in your machine click associate monitor these are all the daemon processes running in my machine if you want to add any particular service click on it and click associate those services will get added to it similarly you can also add your services in the same way click on it and add monitor you can add your custom services with a customized port number but if you want to add the already existing services click associate monitor select the type of services and click associate your services gets added and immediately you can able to see the status of it in this performance monitor for example if you want to add a CPU utilization click on edit the attention alert will arise when your CPU percentage exceeds 75 percent trouble alert followed by the critical alert and DRAM should be lesser than all these values so I'm providing it as 70 percent and click save so now my CPU is in normal state similarly you can also add for disk utilization and memory now this is how you can add process monitor and service monitor with the help of SNMP v3 users similarly you can also add your credential via SSH or Telnet and thus we have seen how to create SNMP v3 credential and also manage it with op manager thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel Linux help for further tutorials visit www.linuxhelp.com any queries mail to support at linuxhelp.com